Welcome back. If you are a lover of oysters on the half shell, you're going to love this next segment. We have Corey Signer joining us from the Fisherman's Market located in Sahali. Uh, it's a great store if you are a lover of seafood. Corey, welcome back. Thank you very much for having yes, us. Yes, look at this beautiful display That's first nice of all. nice looking spread. I know. I think Marcel's going to get a close up right now. <laughs> uh, oysters on the half shell. They're probably fabulously rich in protein and so good for you. Let's talk about them. Absolutely. Um, February is shellfish month at all Fisherman's Market locations. Nice. Uh, we celebrate shellfish, uh, we celebrate oysters, clams, mussels, phenomenal deals all month. And we also celebrate the, the BC oyster farmer who does a phenomenal job providing us with all of this stuff. It's grueling work and they're good salt of the earth people. Excellent. Uh, today we're doing my favorite which is oysters. Uh, if you ever come to a party at my house, this is a staple. If you ever want to invite me to a party at one of your houses, just call me. I will bring the oysters. I like the parties. So, That's a pretty nice invitation. Absolutely. <laughs> so the one thing that I really, I got a pet peeve with oysters. Uh, we go out, I get oysters, really good pricing. Come into the fish market, you can get a dozen of these all month long for, you know, 10, 11 bucks. You go to the restaurant and you get six of them, it's $20. Oh, I know. But you get the fancy mignonette. That's the key. You get the mignonette and everybody, I want the mignonette. Finally, I learned how to make a mignonette. And it's not that difficult. Well, are we doing that today? We're going to do some today. We're going to do it a little bit special. You normally make a mignonette and you let it sit overnight. I'm an impromptu dinner party guy. Sometimes you just got people coming over and you want to whip it up quick. So we're going to make what I call martini mignonettes. I've never even heard of a mignonette. Am I the last one to the party? No, but they're, they're well, if you're an oyster lover when you go out, mignonette is special. You got to have the mignonettes. I'm going to okay. teach you quick, easy, simple ways to do one. Okay. This is a quarter cup. We have our martinis and a martini set. Is a shot glass a quarter cup? This one is. I don't know if they all okay, are. Okay, I want to try. I'm again, not going to do. No, that's okay. Just you know, if you don't drink martinis, you should start. Martinis are very cool. Girls like the apple teenies and stuff. And guys, if it was good enough for Frank Sinatra, it's good enough for us. Okay, fair enough. Okay, so we're going to start with a quarter cup of red wine vinegar into our martini glass. And this first one we're going to do is a raspberry uh, vinaigrette. Mm-hmm. Now this is, makes great salad dressing, stuff like that as well. These are not specialty items. You can find these at Save On, Safeway, three, four dollars a bottle. They're relatively inexpensive. Uh, shallots. Shallots are the main component with your vinaigrette. So it's a couple tablespoons of shallots. And you want to get them finely minced. I used a blender for these ones mm -hmm. uh, because I cry a lot when I cut shallots and right. it's, it's embarrassing and demasculating and everybody laughs at me. So you know how it goes. Uh, cracked black pepper, very important. And we don't want the table stuff. We want to crack our own pepper and a little bit of salt. And that is it. We're going to cover this with our martini shaker. And I've made enough martinis that I'm pretty decent at this. We're going to shake it up. Now, as we shake it, it's going to infuse the flavors together really quickly. And it's going to get very cold, which is nice. And that's it. We shake it up, open our, open our lid, and there's our first mignonette for our oysters on the half shell. Uh, we did that in a couple seconds with very little ingredients and very, very inexpensive. How do you eat that with the oyster? Are you dipping it in there? You, you know what? All you're going to do is take, I have these little spoons here, and we take them and we put them on top of our oyster, and you slurp them back, and they're phenomenal. We've also got the, the staple lemon and the shaved horseradish and the hot sauce, but the mignonette is what really makes a party fancy, and it, I think it looks really decorative. Let's talk about etiquette when eating these. There's to be no chewing. It's right down the hatch, right? I, I, I like to chew them. I like the flavor, but it's uh, to each his own. I've served a lot of oysters at a lot of parties, big gala events and stuff yeah. like that. And you would be surprised, even if you're not an oyster fan, these are very, very unoffensive. Uh, they come from the West Coast. They come from the East Coast. Uh, the ones that we sell in our shops are really easy to shuck. They're really easy to get into. Uh, you can shuck your own at home, and that brings us to like pet peeve number two. We get a lot of people in the stores, and they want us to shuck the oysters for them. Oh, really? It's not that we're lazy. We don't offer it, but it's not because we don't want to. It's because we want you to have fun shucking them at home. We get a lot of the guys come in, and they buy some oysters, and they go, oh, I got, a, I got a flathead screwdriver. I've got a butter knife. You need one of these. Get one of these. This is an oyster knife. <laughs> it, it's like $7, $9, $10 at the fisherman's market. They're inexpensive. They last a lifetime and you will not take your hand off if you're using one of these. Okay, good to know, but tell me this, the reason you guys don't offer it, is it something to do with the freshness, it's better to go home, keep it 100%. fresh, right? It's, it's fun, it's really relaxing, you have a couple drinks at home, uh, you shuck some oysters, it keeps the freshness in. Uh, if you can see the oysters here that we've just shucked, uh, they're full of juices, uh, there's nice juice in there, that's, um, it's like a connoisseur of wine if you really like oysters. Uh, that juice tells you where that oyster came from, you know, that's the story of the oyster there that we, we really want to taste. So 
Yeah, today we did a mignonette. Um, I wanted to let everybody know that uh, February 7th, we're having a uh, very big oyster party at the Fisherman's Market in Kamloops. Radio station's gonna be there. I will be there shucking oysters for everybody all day long. And everybody's invited to come on down. And you can follow us uh, on our Twitter at Seafood Canada. Fantastic. That sounds like all kinds of fun. It is seafood shell, shell, shell shellfish celebration. It's our shell, shell shellfish month. I can't say it either. That's shellfish. a bit of an alliteration. It, it is. I'm not comfortable <laughs> entirely saying it either. Anyways, it smells delicious. Thank you so much for being here today. It's Thank good you. education. Fantastic. Appreciate it. All right. It. Information's on the screen if you'd like to learn more. The Fisherman's Market.ca. We are back in two minutes. Stay with us. Everything gold isn't all that it seems You can get lost in the city of dreams